This video is putting an air gauge in the dashboard on my big truck to know how much weight I have on my drive axles. And the truck is empty right now. This gauge is in. I installed it a number of years ago. But I just thought since I'm home with the truck and doing something on it today, I'll just go over how to put one of these in because it's very simple. So as you can see, uh, we're only showing, I just got mine hanging loose in there and it used to be glued in but it pops out. It, uh, it's showing maybe two or three pounds of air in there. And this gauge only goes up to 100 pounds of air and that's all I want because 60 pounds on most trucks the airbags on the on the suspension are at a size that require about 60 pounds of air to be right at your 34,000 pounds um, gross weight on your uh, axle on your drive axle so when you put a gauge of this type in you still have to go over a scale and axle out and get your paper uh, from the uh, desk and find out just what your weights are so you find out exactly where your gauge is going to read when you're at your 34,000. Once you learn how to use this gauge you'll know where your weights are without having to go across a scale and find out if you're okay or not and this saved me many many trips over the scales at truck stops. If I wasn't over gross and I didn't have any reason to doubt my gross weight all I had to do is make sure my drive axle was not over and or too far under depending on uh, what the weight was. Like if I was real close to grossing out and I was only showing uh, 45 or 50 pounds well then I know that I'm going to be over axle on my trailer so I'd have to slide the tandems uh, back and get some weight on the front to get me back up to 60. So when I was 60 up here in the front and not over, then I knew that my weight, my load was going to be balanced out pretty good. So we'll just go around the back and show. That's just a gauge I stuck in the dashboard. Nothing fancy about my dashboard. It's an old junk truck I bought a long time ago. I've been driving it for a long time. And so I just uh, got that quarter inch line that I'll show you in a minute. Just brought it underneath the truck along the frame and up through the dashboard and, and out that hole. I'll show you where that's in back here. Doesn't matter which airbag you go to, just any of them. I just put a T-fitting in this one here. I took the regular fitting off that was right here and I put a T in it and then tapped an airline in, into that T fitting and that just goes straight to that air gauge. And so you'll just have to go to a truck uh, repair supply or truck parts and get a roll, find out how much air hose you need. It's your standard quarter inch air hose, get your fittings and, uh, and put that on and there's nothing to it. You just take this fitting off, put this T fitting on, screw this in there, and then you run that down your frame and up through your firewall and under your dash. And you just have to find one of these gauges at a farm supply store or order one online or something and go to Northern Tools or whatever and northerntools.com has a big selection of them. And uh, I can't tell you what size it's going to be. It's probably going to be like a 3 8 nipple on the back. So you'll have to get a, a uh, fitting that will fit that. So bring your gauge in with you when you go to buy your hose. Buy the gauge first and then bring your gauge with you to make sure you get the right fittings to hook everything up. I hope that helps somebody. It helped me a lot.